good morning. Uh, oh, in case I cut off, sorry. Hey guys, good morning. Um, found an article today from a, a pretty established nutritionist, all right? And I've reviewed her, looked her up. Uh, she has a YouTube channel. And um, so she seems to know what she's talking about. Uh, however, um, she does suggest that not eating enough carbs can have physical effects, <coughs> as, as she suggests. Her name is Nicola Ludlam Rain. Uh, she said there's no good reason to reduce or remove carbs from your diet. Now, of course, we know that if you have diabetes type 2 or you're obese, as a consequence of this diabetes, this insulin resistance, uh, you have three choices. You can do bariatric surgery, you can do calorie reduction, which is essentially a starvation diet, but that one's not sustainable. And we've, uh, and, and, and again, you'll have to do your own research on bariatric surgery. Uh, and the third way is the low carb option. And that will also reduce the insulin and cause the weight and diabetes. The weight will fall off, the diabetes will reverse itself. Uh, and she does suggest here um, four things that will happen to you if you're not eating enough carbs. So one, lack of energy. This only happens in the first three weeks, uh, three days to about a week. And that's until your body becomes fat adapted and learns, uh, relearns actually, you were born fat adapted. Um, and it, it builds mitochondria and relearns how to use fat as a fuel source instead of glucose. This is a very short term problem. Um, over the last year that I've been doing low carb, high fat, I have had zero energy loss. Zero energy loss, okay? Uh, brain fog, again, in the first three days. That's called the keto flu, uh, colloquially, uh, colloquially, 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 whatever, that word. <laughs> um, and the brain fog is, again, a cause of just too much glucose in the body. The body is spending so much energy trying to push that into cells and get rid of it out of the bloodstream. It has to. Uh, hyperglycemia will kill you in quick. Uh, so not that the glucose is necessarily the preferred fuel of the body, but it is the most important one that has to get out of the bloodstream. So again, this brain fog issue, again, just comes up in the first three days to a week. Uh, less energy for workouts. Okay. Over a year, like I told you, I've been very low carb, almost zero carb, and uh, high fat, uh, adequate protein. I probably eat two, maybe a little more than two grams per kilo of protein. Um, that's because I'm a little older and I also don't uptake as much protein as say my younger, my younger uh, compadres, right? Um, but I have had no trouble with energy. And again, here's that lack of energy idea. See, when you first stop eating carbohydrates and you're used to them, you will go slightly hypoglycemic. Your cortisol will try to bump that back up. You'll go through a little roller coaster. You may get nauseous, you may get dizzy. Um, you're gonna feel like crap. But again, this ends in about a week, all right? And finally, difficulty recovering from workouts, and she does suggest the pain associated in the muscles. Now, that's from lactic acid, that's when you get into an anaerobic state, all right? Your, your body burns um, the, uh, the glucose and it converts it to lactic acid. Uh, my exercise routines are rarely anaerobic. I am mostly an aerobic exercise person. I'll do some push-ups, some high intensity, and I do plenty of walking. Uh, and again, at my age, this is, this is also a very cool thing. Never, ever had any muscle pain. You know that soreness, you feel like, oh, I'm so sore. That's lactic acid that's trapped in your muscles. Uh, so again, over the last year, um, Actually, I, I pretty much started doing my hit and things probably six, seven months ago. I wanted to ensure that the quote-unquote keto diet, which is kind of what led me into all this, um, gave me the, um, I wanted to test their, their, their theory that, that said, you know, you don't even need to exercise and you're going to lose weight. Yes, exercise is not a good weight loss strategy, but exercise is exceedingly important for the brain, the ticker, and the rest of the parts of your body where fluids and nutrients and vitamins and proteins and fats need to move around, okay? So again, uh, really, hats off, my, my respect to her education, her knowledge, and um, I, her transparency, uh, I looked her up, and uh, she, uh, she is,
heavy into the bariatric surgery world. Um, again, beaucoup d'argent, yeah, a lot of money. Uh, and dietary solutions just don't pay a lot of bills for a lot of doctors. Um, that's why we're all out here for free telling you guys, hey, you know, advice worth the price, like my dad said, what did you pay to click on this video? Nothing. Uh, so there's your advice. It's, it's worth the price. Uh, but it has worked for me for over a year. Totally sustainable still. Love it. Don't want to change. I enjoy what I eat. I eat till I'm full. And I don't eat again till I'm hungry. So by consequence, I, I get a fast in there. Uh, but that's not, that was not my goal, or is not my goal now. It just, I'm not hungry. I ate yesterday about 18 hours ago. Uh, was not hungry for what we call Santa here in Mexico. It's around uh, right at sunset, 7, 8 in the, eight, eight in the evening. And uh, as you can tell, I'm, I'm pretty bouncy. I mean, I have a lot of energy today. Um, namaste, man. You know what? I'm just, uh, I'm just here telling a story. So, you know, hats off to this, this, this nutritionist. Good for her. Well qualified, uh, at least in the allopathic world. I don't belong to that world. I belong to the holistic world, uh, which is fine. So use the patient. You have to make a decision. You know, uh, what you're doing probably isn't working or you wouldn't be clicking on this video or other videos in the genre of uh, keto, ketovore, carnivore, high carb, uh, sorry, low carb, high fat, excuse me. Um, so you have to ultimately make that decision for yourself. Uh, plenty of resources out there. Look up Dr. Eckberg, Dr. Barry, uh, Dr. Fung. I've I have clicked on Thomas DeLauer's information. He he does a lot of sales, but he, he's real good with the, the 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 medical lingo speak. You know the the big the big hundred dollar words. And uh, Dr. Berg, who actually is the one whose video I found introducing me to keto. So uh, anyway, good luck, guys. Um, it's tough out there. I, I get it. And uh, you have to do what's best for you. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the in the uh, the comment notes below, and then I'll I'll get to your questions. Talk soon. Be well. Have a good one. Bye.